Today on my channel, Planner Friends, I am going through my 2023 lineup and showing you what changes I'm making and just some planner talk to get caught up. I am making a little bit of change going into June, um, but I think, and I'm going to explain to you, I think Multiple Planners is really working for me, so hopefully, and I hate to say planners because I'll explain I use different things for different purposes. So yeah, so let's stay tuned and talk planners. Hello planner friends and welcome to my channel. I'm One Crafty Dolo and I'm so happy you're here with me today. Uh, today's video is going to be basically a review of where I am heading into June and what planners I'm using, not using, changing and so forth. So it's just the monthly review I guess you could call it. If you're new here you're welcome to subscribe and tap the notification bell so you're notified. I generally upload three times a week. I try anyway, Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays. So let's delve in, shall we? <laughs> um, I was thinking about this because I write notes now to myself because I think if not, it's just like teaching. I always had, you know, an outline, right? So the question is, as I go into June, which I can't believe it's June almost, why am I using multiple planners and how am I going to continue to use them and so forth? And why does one need multiple planners? Okay, so I'm probably going to create a graphic with an umbrella to show you what I mean. Things that fall under the heading of planning can be many different things. Okay, they can be work, can be life. They can also be journaling, faith, Bible study, prayer, all kinds of things. So planning... That's why sometimes I'll put hashtags about being crafty or, or so forth. So it's for me, in many ways, it's a way to organize, of course, manage anxiety, manage stress. But there's a lot of creativity and it's multifaceted. It's, it's not just sitting down and planning out a day. So that's what I'm doing here heading into June, if you can imagine. So let's start very simply. I'm going to move things and then we're going to start. So I had picked up off of Mercari used this Philofax. It's a Finsbury. I love the color. I mean, I just love this. I love how it turned out. And I have to say this, <laughs> this is working. I am using it solely for budgeting. Now this isn't, I know a lot of people use cash envelopes. I'm not doing that. What I'm actually doing with it, as you can see, is tracking spending. I think that's the precursor to cash envelopes. My son hasn't asked for money, although he doesn't usually, but I haven't slipped any money his way, so that's very sweet. But he's a young adult, so sometimes I try to help him. Anyway, so this is a keeper. Heading, I, I love how it's working. It is working and it's really eye opening. The one thing I will say with keeping your receipts, people don't give you receipts when you, you swipe your card. And so they're like, oh, and I'm like, I need a receipt. And they look at me like, oh, all right. And then they have to print it out. And this includes everyone from, you know, the Amish market to a convenience store to Starbucks and so forth. Everything's digital. So the fact that I'm asking for paper throws people off. And I've started to say, I'm, I tell them, I'm saying, I track every expense. So they, they're they like, oh, that's a good idea. I'm like, every penny. Some, some say to me, oh, that's why I don't get receipts. I don't want to know. But so this is a keeper budgeting. So again, I'm not really planning in this. I'm using a planner for my budgeting. This has worked well. Um, very happy that I did this. It is eye opening. Okay. Let's talk about another form of planning, shall we? And let's talk a little bit about um, journaling. Now, if you've been following me, I have been using this journal now for since September. So since September, right? So September through May, that's nine months. And what I've been doing in here, it's a print press in weeks and a hardbound weeks planner. I was planning out videos in these monthly sections and then I've been journaling in these other sections and it's gone really well and I stuck with journaling. I have a whole series on journaling and now we're moving on up and this will be my planner start our journal starting in June. It is larger 
This was a vertical weeks, uh, which is funny because I usually don't like vertical. Uh, I'm going to play with this some more, but this is a horizontal, as you can see. It's a Carpe Diem TN traveler's notebook that I had that I'm going to utilize. So I have to finish decorating this and getting it set up and zhuzh it up, if you will. But this was my journal going forward, so I'll be in horizontal, and I'm giving myself more space. I am, incidentally, um, going to continue. I started it in November. I started taking these days of grad, you know, these sheets and decorating them for every month. I love this one. Oh, I love them all. But now I've decided to do the same in here. Um, what I did in the week's planner is I would adhere two pages so there was no bleeding. I've decided in here I'm going to put some blank cardstock and then decorate that as the monthly front piece. So yeah, I'm going to get into here and I think it's going to be really great. So I'm excited to use this. So again, it's not planning, planning, I'm journaling in here and that's wonderful. And I have a whole series on journaling. You can check that out. So another thing I'm doing in planners is I am Bible journaling and I have, I'll grab it, I've created a new, um, prayer journal. This is a brand new project for me and this is really going well. Um, I'm loving it so far and I did, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, I did a front piece to the, the and I did a spiritual uh, wish list, which I thought was really good. And yeah, so I have all this here. And these two are my faith planners. I started off and completed over a year in a simple inexpensive A5. I decorate it. I'm probably going to be changing this up at some point here. And I just do my journaling and it's been really quite lovely. So Bible journaling, Bible study, and now prayer journaling, that forms an increasingly larger portion of what I do in terms of a planner, as it were. So you could see here, here's some of May. Right, and this has worked out nicely. I really enjoyed the creativity in here. So yeah, that's something I'm gonna continue. I intend, I'd switch this um, come April. I was using up, I still have it on my desk, that's why I'm pointing. I have a very large, oh, I'll show you. It's super ginormous. This is an undated prayerful planner uh, daily pages. And this has been lovely too. I just needed a break from the daily pages. So I took a break and it's undated so I can come back to it at any time. And I will, I'm certainly not going to, I wouldn't get rid of it anyway, but I will reuse it. I had this sitting around, it's dated. And I thought, you know, especially it's horizontal. So I like that for journaling and yeah, so that is my Bible study journal and as I said I've got this new prayer journal which is a really pretty um, notebook my sister-in-law gave me and I love that oh I'm just noticing something here on my desk these two match isn't that funny so yeah that's something else we're going to keep going into June oh really quickly before I get into this I just want to say that the prayer journal is you know to increase like prayer in my life and to bring peace and all of that. I think it's really going to be great for that. And then finally, I have some different changes coming up here. Now, traditionally, back in the day, I used a 7 by 9 planner. And then I started to add in a ring binder. And I found that I really love the ring binders. I love the versatility of it. I love creating in it. Okay, so I'm at habit tracking. I have a creative little journal in here, which again, is just a project that I really enjoyed putting together. Um, I track my reading. I used to do budgeting in here until I set up the other notebook and so for shopping list. Um, I'll take this and so when I'm out, I'll collect my receipts in here before I put them in the other. This is a creative space for me. It also is my monthly schedule, if you will, or daily schedule. I use Carpe Diem inserts for every week. And this has been my go-to for a long time. I, this technically is more like a personal wide from Carpe Diem. But I've really loved little 
spaces in it. I love decorating it. This has always been a fun, happy place for me. However, I haven't been using it enough lately. I've been keeping it simple, but I, I forget it sometimes. And what I had done, this was kind of my planner. I always looked at crock leather planners, but I couldn't really afford them. And so I did a whole video on this one. Um, it's got some sheets in it that came with it. This was used. I found it on Mercari for a steal, less than half of what it would cost new. And you could see it's in really good shape. And it's buttery, soft leather. I love the blue color. I, I didn't, I was looking at blue for a long time, this navy color. I think they've discontinued it. it yeah, it's Italian leather. You could feel it. It's gorgeous. So this was a steal. And what I'm going to do next month is I'm going to take this and put it in here. So that's one of the bigger changes going into June. I got this. I'm ready to use it. I, I just... I just want to keep touching it. It's like butter. I will keep these. I'm not going to de-stash or sell my Carpe Diem planners. I'm going to continue to keep them. And I did check. I can put these inserts in here. I was doing a little bit of work, pre-work before I actually do this. So that's a big change. The other change is a little different. Now, I have been using this pocket planner for work. And I think that it's worked well, but I also feel like, I don't know if this is going to make sense to you, but I haven't put enough time into writing. I haven't put enough time into some other creative projects I've been working on and designing. I just have not had time and that's frustrating to me. Oh, I've got my notes here. <laughs> so what I'm looking at doing is a plum paper planner. Um, so plum paper had a sale for Memorial Day and I actually picked up an A5 that hasn't arrived yet. I know, right? Like I need another planner, like you're going to say like a hole in the head. However, I'm all about saving money, right? You know that. I don't want to do, I don't want to spend money I don't have to. That's very important to me. But I have other endeavors, other projects, certainly my writing, and I feel like, what do I want to say here? I feel frustrated that all I've done is go to work, come home, go to work, come home. I'm not saying I'm not going to use this. I love this size. Truthfully, I did get this to fade down a bit. It's not completely gone, but it's mostly gone. Um, I feel that I haven't spent enough time doing the things that really matter and too much time spending time doing things for other people. I love what I do, don't get me wrong, but I think I'm ready to kind of pick up and reconfigure a little bit. I don't have the A5 that I ordered. I can drop a picture at the end and then of course I'll do a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'll do a an unboxing video or I'll show you how I designed it. It's also a horizontal layout, but I really, really need something. This is work, fine, but I needed something to really house my writing. What I was doing, I'll just show you, and it's a little bit embarrassing, but is I had all this stuff laid out and I didn't do it. So now I'm gonna reboot it for June this is habits, but then I was tracking articles, submitting articles, my blog for children and my medium articles here and nothing worked. And I'm not happy with that, but you know what? I'm human. I'm allowed to make mistakes. I'm allowed to stumble. And I want you to know I'm being honest with you. So while I can use this for work and so forth, I'm making a big change in that I'm going to focus a lot more on my own endeavors and cut back in terms of what I'm doing with work and and so forth. It's not that I come from a place of privilege. I don't. I certainly don't. But I also feel like I have to invest the time and I need to be held accountable in a different way. And I think that I created a good system, but it got lost in here. So, and I want to get back to using my personal planner more. So whether I use this or not for June, I'm not sure I'm going to see, but I mean, I love it. Eventually, I even thought of giving up personal and just using a pocket planner for every day. But I like the, and this is actually smaller than this, right? You can see here. So, 
Anyway, those are my changes for going into June. I appreciate you taking your time and spending it with me. I really do. I know you have many things you could be doing at this moment, and I thank you for being here. I'm going to end this with a quote I used in my um, journal this month. I've been using quotes from First Ladies, and it's a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt, and it's a lesser known quote, but I think it's really sage advice. Do one thing that scares you every day. Boom. And so I am going to invest more in this channel. I don't really promote it. I'm not making money. If this is a creative in Denver um, between us, you know, that I love doing. But I don't do enough with this channel, I feel, sometimes. And again, my writing. So yeah, do one thing that scares you every day. Let's do it, friends. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. Have a blessed week, friends. And remember, there's so many facets to this. It's not just planning. Bye, planner friends.